Welcome to a presentation about Turigen brought to you by your neighborhood doctors. Please remember that we will cover the topic in general terms. Please consult your doctors for specific questions pertaining to you. Turigen is like a weed growing on your eye. It starts as a small, triangular-shaped growth on the white part of your eye. Over time, it can grow larger and cover more of the surface of your eye. Just like a weed, it can be difficult to get rid of once it has taken root. The best way to prevent turigen from growing is to protect your eyes from UV rays and other environmental irritants. Turigen is a condition that affects the eye and can cause a variety of symptoms. Common symptoms of turigen include redness, irritation, and a feeling of having something in the eye. You may also experience blurred vision, sensitivity to light, and a gritty sensation in the affected eye. In some cases, the turgium can grow large enough to cover part of the cornea and interfere with vision. If this happens, you may need to wear glasses or contact lenses to correct your vision. Turgium is a common eye condition that affects people of all ages, but it is more common in people who spend a lot of time outdoors. It is most commonly seen in people between the ages of 20 and 40, and it is more common in men than women. People who live in sunny climates or near the equator are also more likely to develop turgium. People who work outdoors, such as farmers, fishermen, and construction workers, are also at an increased risk for developing this condition. Additionally, those with lighter colored eyes are more likely to develop turgium than those with darker colored eyes. Turgium is caused by long-term exposure to ultraviolet UV radiation from the sun. This UV radiation damages the cells in the conjunctiva, which is the thin, clear tissue that covers the white part of your eye. This damage can cause the conjunctiva to thicken and grow over the cornea, forming a turgium. Other factors that may increase your risk of developing a turgium include living in a sunny climate, spending a lot of time outdoors, and having a family history of turgium. Treatment for turgium depends on the severity of the condition. If the turgium is small and not causing any symptoms, it may not require treatment. However, if the turgium is large and causing irritation or vision problems, then treatment may be necessary. The most common treatment for turgium is surgery. During this procedure, the doctor will remove the growth and replace it with a piece of healthy tissue from another part of your eye. This procedure can help reduce irritation and improve vision. In some cases, medications such as steroid eye drops or ointments may be used to reduce inflammation and slow down the growth of the turgium. In addition, wearing sunglasses when outdoors can help protect your eyes from ultraviolet light which can worsen the condition. Finally, if you have a severe case of turgium that does not respond to other treatments, your doctor may recommend a corneal transplant to replace your damaged cornea with a healthy one. The prognosis of turgium is generally good. In most cases, the condition does not cause any serious problems and can be managed with simple treatments such as lubricating eye drops or wearing sunglasses. However, if the turgium is large or growing quickly, it may need to be surgically removed. Surgery is usually successful in removing the turgium and preventing it from returning. After surgery, you may need to use lubricating eye drops and wear sunglasses to protect your eyes from further damage. Thank you for listening to this presentation brought to you by Talking Raymond. For information, check us out retinally.com info. Be safe. Love you.